Well, as we all know, the PlayStation 2 has already been released in Japan, and it will be arriving on our shores sometime in the fall. But until then, here's a look at what's to come. This is the intro for Ridge Racer 5 for the PlayStation 2. You're tuned to 76.5 on your FM dial. This is R-I-D-G-E FM, broadcasting live from Ridge City. This is for all you race fans out there. Here are the Boom Boom satellites coming straight at you with some wicked beats. Check it out now. As we mentioned earlier, the Xbox was announced at this year's Game Developers Conference. But some of you may ask, what exactly is an Xbox? So to answer that, here's a look at the newest entry in the console gaming arena. Rumors that Microsoft was developing a console system swirled around the gaming world for months. Insiders speculated on if and when an official announcement would come. When Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates took the stage to deliver the keynote address at the Game Developers Conference, the time was right and the rumors became reality. So I'm announcing the Xbox, uh, which we're modestly titling. Uh... Okay, so Gates has made it official and it is called the Xbox. But in a world with Sega, Nintendo and the Sony PlayStation, what's gonna make this machine stand out? Its impressive hardware specifications definitely place it in a league of its own. The customized central processing unit will be a minimum 600 megahertz customized Pentium 3 technology. That's twice as fast as the PlayStation 2. The graphics processor, or the X chip, will be developed by Microsoft and NVIDIA. It will be 300 megahertz and... This graphics processor can do one trillion operations a second. Most significant is that unlike any other console system, the Xbox will also include an 8 gigabyte hard drive. And that's something that I personally fought really hard for because you've got this incredibly powerful graphics processor, but you've got to support it by getting data behind it. You've got to be able to turn around, you've got to be able to look backwards, you've got to be able to run through this alley and into some new place. And as, as the graphics capabilities come up, that's meant more memory, more memory. You've got to have a way to get that data in very quickly. Having the hard disk there to support that is what's really going to make this, I think, really going to make the platform special. With this hardware and Windows-based operating system, it's understandable that one might perceive the Xbox to be a powerful PC game machine hooked up to their television. But Microsoft is adamant that this is a console gaming platform. We're really focused on that core console gaming market, that core console gamer. And really, they're a different audience than the PC audience. I think you're, what you're going to see is a lot of very original content for this platform that's really focused on you know, that gamer, uh, console gamer. I was very surprised by the Xbox. Uh, I was expecting it to be kind of cool, kind of like a, a stripped down PC. Um, but what I wound up seeing very much excited me. Everything looks really smooth, it looks really sharp. Now, there's little question that the Xbox will be a very impressive machine, but there's already three console companies fighting for the gaming dollar. So the question is, if you add a fourth, will they all survive? There's only room for first place and second place, and that's about it. And uh, it's going to start getting real scary. Uh, if anybody can pull the collective rug out from Sony's basic ownership of the industry, it's Microsoft. But Nintendo, I would not underestimate Shigeru Miyamoto and the design talent. They have Pokemon, they, cre they create absolute phenomenons. I wouldn't underestimate them. And Sega's got some really good guys in their camp. They have a Shenmue and Yu Suzuki and a lot of those great titles, and they're actually going ahead with their online strategy. So it's going to be really interesting, and uh, the ones who win are the, the customers and the developers in the end. If you want to find out more about the Xbox and the Game Developers Conference, come on down to the GameSpot TV website and watch both our GDC spotlights in streaming video. And while you're there, read up and learn more on all the next generation console systems, from the Xbox to the PS2 and the Nintendo Project Dolphin. 
and come to our chat at 8 p.m. Tuesdays Eastern Time and discuss what you think will be the winner in the console wars. So until next week, bye-bye.